We're in the 17th century Shepherd's Cottage, which is the only remaining Backlands Cottage on the Highgate Bowl. The, the cottage was here before the High Street was built. It could have been built when during the Great Fire of London, but this is a remarkable survivor. There are five mature trees on Townsend Yard. On the other side of the boundary wall are two magnificent lime trees, at least 90 years old. I love those trees. They're now threatened. They had TPOs put on them at my request in 2004. The council revoked those TPOs. They were revoked in favour of a developer. Rather than require that the developer accommodate the trees, there's a new contemporary house that was finished literally this summer and they built around a copper beach. Clearly they're the developer thinks they're in the way of maximising on, on building on every single inch of Townsend Yard. To lose those trees feels, it's not an exaggeration to say that feels like a, it will be a bereavement. When the breeze is in the trees you get this susurrus and it's so calming and so soothing and it feels like all is well with the world. So. The backyard, the first house, will be 1.29 metres from my back door. I will no longer see the sky from my ground floor and the trees will be gone. People, people are horrified. I see the sun, it lights up the trees, it lights up the copper beach beyond, it bounces light off of my neighbour's wall here and that reflects back into the house. I will lo I'll lose all of that and I'll no longer be able to see either the sky or the sun. There are 140 objections against Haringey Council allowing listed building consent for this modern row, contemporary row of houses to be built right up to a grade two listed 17th century cottage. We need the trees for all that they do for us.